Fully smart one. He's smelting it. Oh, he's smelting it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, let's see what you got. You subdued him and the flight landed safely back in Albuquerque. Authorities removed him from the plane and started their investigation. Husky guy, probably, uh, Husky guy, probably 6'2", uh, probably 220 pounds at least. White? Guy, white guy. Okay. Uh, um, short hair. He's in the very back row on the, uh, on the captain's side of the Okay. Right Thank you, sir. There's a, uh, a guy that's sitting next to him said he was federal law enforcement, but on a lot of things. Okay. So that's who's sitting next to him. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it's me. Thank you. Thank you. All these people are the able bodied passengers that they initially helped. Are you gentlemen doing off to Albuquerque Police Department? He's smelting it. Oh, he's smelting it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, let's see what you got. Yeah. His feet are taped and, uh, oh, it's flex. He's got the flex. Yeah, he's got his coast of speed. Where is it at? Uh, I think the flight tank driven. And uh, cell phone also was in the seat pocket. Do you guys have his carry on? Uh, it was 17 days where he was sitting. I don't know if he's carrying on the overhead. I'm not sure. Did, did you want to take that tape off his feet? Who are you? Are you able to walk with it until we get right down? Slowly. Okay. He was sitting on 17A. Okay, we'll look for that. We get him out. Hold up. 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 Hold and then your bag's up here? Yes, sir. Okay. 17. Which one? Right or left? Uh, left. This one? Yeah, we, we asked him, he's moving very slow. Yeah. Yeah, that wheelchair, did they bring it down here? Yeah. Yeah, there's a wheelchair here. Can you bring the wheelchair closer? We're going to put him in a chair. Or do you want, that's our aisle chair. Do you have a regular wheelchair? Is it, wheelchair that's gonna, no. Yeah, I think there's one up. Do you guys have a wheelchair upstairs? Well, do, you, do we have a, do you need another one? Are you guys Is it an aisle chair like this one? That's an aisle no, chair. No, I have a regular. Regular? regular yeah, regular chair. would be great. Any of the passengers? Ask him who, yeah, ask him if he wants to be, uh, he wants to be a seen by ambulance. No? No, they Refusing. have more seen by ambulance. Any of the folks up there want to see my ambulance? Okay, thank you. I'll go through this route. 
It'd be a lot easier to put him in a regular wheelchair. It'd be easier to put him in a regular wheelchair. Watch your step. I don't understand why we're walking Well, we gotta sit down so we can cut the leg with off. Go ahead and sit down so we can cut off your. Don't kick or anything, okay, boss? Yes, sir. Alright, look up here. I got scissors. All right, he's going to pull you up, he's going to probably put you in different restraints, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to remove three restraints, right? I don't want you to do anything. Don't try to resist or apply right? Yes, sir. Let's go first. Grab this hand. Okay, we're cool, right? Huh? You're gonna feel some scissors back here, but I'm controlling them. Just hold still. All right. I mean, you're gonna feel it again on your left wrist. Just hold tight, okay? I need another pair. No. Okay. Joe, these are some witnesses here. If you can get their 49 and You think you can put these on there? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to put them in my car? Yeah, I your car is yeah, yeah. the bottom. Here's my uh, passenger side. If you don't mind. I'm going to open up your bag and throw these in there, okay? We're just going to throw them in and okay? We appreciate your cooperation with us. Thank you. Yes, ready? So are we going to sit down so we can cut off your... Uh, we're going to sit down so we can cut off your... Don't kick or anything, okay, boss? Go look up here. I got scissors, you need them? All right, he's going to pull you up, he's going to probably put you in different restraints, okay? Okay, I've got cuts, I've got a cutter for that. Okay, I'm going to remove the restraints, okay? I don't want you to do anything, don't, don't try to resist our fight, all right? All right. This one first, grab this hand, grab that hand. Okay, we're cool, right, man? All right, buddy. You're gonna feel some scissors back here, but I'm controlling them. Just hold still. Okay. And I mean, you're gonna feel it again on your left wrist. Just hold tight, okay? Hey, uh, Joe. These are some witnesses here. If you can get their 49 and statements. You think you can slip these on us? Yeah. If your car's here, let's do that. Double, I'm going to open up your bag and throw these in there, okay? Throw them and consolidate it, okay? We appreciate your cooperation with us. Thank you. Eighteen twenty PDs. One in custody, but hold the air ten three for me for another minute. On this side. Yeah, 
best way to do it is to best way to do it is to go backwards. Just sit on your bottom once he tells you, and then you'll just sit down and pull your feet in. But the officer will tell you when. Spread your feet for me. I'll spread. Watch your head. There you go. Good job. Is Joe going to come back here for the car? Or? Yeah, yeah. Joe will drive the car. We'll just, he's just grabbing 49 from the witnesses. Do you want to stand by with him? With Joe? With the prisoner? Okay, and what did you see? What what happened? Uh, what did see? Actually, it's what happened. What happened was I was on, I was watching the movie. Flight attendant came and ran and grabbed me and said, I need your help. Okay. Uh, took out my earbuds, ran back there. I saw them pulling him out of the x row at that time. Um, on the ground. I instructed the flight attendant to grab the uh, bag with the flexing belts and the duct tape. And I said, she ran your pills. And we, uh, we got the passenger who had a handcuff and the other gentleman that got him to the when, when, when the flight attendant told you that you needed help, and when you, did you actually see the guy? Was he trying to fight or was he trying to get away? No, he was actually very compliant. Once he was on the ground, he was completely compliant. When we were putting the handcuffs on, he was compliant. Now the emergency deck, uh, exit door, you can see I've been told with the, the cover's been pulled off and the handle again. Try to put, you can't open that door and fight. It's a but, uh, yeah, so you could see the door, you could see where he had, had done that. He was sitting next to the door there. Um, but like I said, once he was cuffed and we moved him back, he was completely compliant with going around. So, it wasn't making any kind of statements, anything like that? Nothing, no, he didn't speak at all. He didn't even speak when he sat him down in the seat. He was completely quiet and, uh, like I said, subdued and compliant. He really didn't say anything. He wasn't making noises or anything like that. He didn't kick. You know, it wasn't doing anything. So once he was pulled off the door, uh, he really didn't fight back much. Now, when you guys, where, where did you guys depart from? Uh, here. Here? Okay, when you guys were moving out and you guys were backing up or any, when the plane was boarding, you didn't notice anything odd? I didn't notice anything about him and I was walking to passengers coming along uh, for those reasons and we didn't, you know, nothing odd was really going. Okay. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure they'll probably get their statement if they haven't already talked to you with uh, FBI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, so. so he's cuffed um, behind, and then we have him anchored. Did you want him uh, one cuff on the the deal and yeah, arm free? Just so we can do the advice of rights and he can sign. Cool, cool. Sorry, I don't know how to. I've never had to use this before. I've only been here for for six months, so. First time for all. Of yeah. How do you use this? Turn it uh, counterclockwise. There you go. And just turn it and just. And you don't have access. There we go. Clockwise. 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 <laughs> 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 take one second. I'm probably have you stand up here in just a second. A little bit? Yeah, and then a little bit. I got it. Wait up, wait up. Wait up. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and stand up. Yeah, common spelling for both. S W A N S O N. 
What's up? For your last name, how do you spell it? S W A M S one. Alright. Is it Justin or Dustin? Justin. Justin. Okay. And his passport's on the on the table there. There you go. Okay, go ahead and lean forward. You right handed? I am. Okay. I'm going to take off your right cuff so that you can sign paperwork that they have, okay? Okay. Go ahead and place your hand on top of your head, okay? Once I take it off. That's probably relieving, right? So. Right, You're good to go. That's his uh, carry-on luggage there. Alright. And this was your this was your backpack, right? Because there was another black backpack. It doesn't just have one backpack with mine. Cool one. Anything else left on the plane? Uh I think they got my phone. Yeah, I think those are my headphones, I think. Alright. So Justin, my name is Stacy Stout, special agent with the Albuquerque FBI field office. I see you. So before we ask any questions. I'm going to go through this document with you. It's your advice of rights. So it's 338. I'm just going to go, with, go through it with you line by line. Can you with me? So before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. You have the right to have a lawyer with you during the questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop answering at any time. Now, if you could read this sentence for me out loud. I have read this statement of my rights and I understand what my rights are. At this time, I am willing to answer questions without a lawyer present. I do. You... Yep. No. Okay. So if you want, if you can sign right below the consent sentence that you just read out loud. And if you don't want us to record, we can step out, but unfortunately if we're here, no, we have no, to... No, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I just heard the beep and I turned around. I was just curious what it was about some law I, I, I put it on loud because you forget sometimes and it like just it. reminds right. me. You got Justice Watson. What's your uh, greatest personal information from your legs? Alrighty. Alrighty, if you want to go ahead and swing your legs out. Alrighty, just trying not to bump your head. Thank you very much. Alright, you can go over to that door there. I could just have you stand right here for me. left and right let's keep going and we'll hang left at this door here right here thanks sir and we're going to put you in that holy cell there give me just a second All right, go ahead and have a seat. I'm just gonna have you lean forward a little bit. A little bit too much, go ahead and sit back and what? Let me, um, well, you're, you're long and lengthy, yeah. so I'll add another hand and set of cuffs to this. Otherwise you're gonna be like, sitting all the way to the back. You have a checkpoint last hour, right? Yeah. I'll sit here if you want to. Did you want, can you, you have an extra set of cuffs then? Yeah, is your cuffs? Well, no, the, they're, they're right? too short. So, okay. they're, they're not long enough to cuff those other the cuffs you stop. Sorry, go ahead and lean forward for me. Uh, 
These medical key things? Oh, I hate these things. Now, if you could read this sentence for me out loud. I have read this statement of my rights and I understand what my rights are. At this time, I am willing to answer questions without a lawyer present. Do you? Yep. Okay. okay. So, if you want, if you can sign right below the consent sentence that you just read out loud. And if you don't want us to record, we can step out. But unfortunately, if we're here, we have to. I think it's fine. I just want to be when I turn around. I was just curious what it was about the law I I put it on loud because you forget sometimes, and it just reminds me. So where are you headed today? No, from the Texas. Oh, I'm going to Toronto. Toronto. Where are you looking to be there? I'm going to meet my wife. Okay. Yeah. What was taking you to Toronto? She lived there. Yeah. Oh. She says she does. What do you mean? Oh, I haven't been there yet. You haven't been to Toronto yet? Where your wife lives? Yeah. Okay. Why did she move out there? I don't know. Do you know how long she's lived there? I don't. How long have you guys been married? A while. A long time. Okay. So you've been married to your spouse for a while. She moved to Toronto at some point. Unknown time. Do you have an address for it? Uh, I don't have any memories. Okay. Where's your phone? What's her name? Uh, Lilith. Lilith? Yeah. How do you spell it? L I L T. L I L T H. What's her last name? So, uh, last name. Uh, unknown last name. Maybe 16 and if they don't, we'll call it 2600 miles. Probably. Uh, I don't even believe that. All right. I met her somewhere else before this. Like before you were born or? Oh, before this body was born, yeah. Okay. Well, and you say so you don't have. Okay. All right, so no way to contact her, though, you said. No. So how are you planning on meeting her when you got to Toronto? I told you I have an address on my phone. Okay, okay. So you were just going to drive out there to her? Yeah. Did she know you were coming out there? Yeah. Okay. All right, why don't we just jump to the last one? I don't what's going on. She asked me to open the door. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How? Well, obviously, crazy again in my head. Okay. So you heard her voice and what did she say? She said, open the door. Okay. Do you, is that how you guys communicate? Is, mm -hmm. Okay. Did she give me any reasons why? No. She just told me to do it. Okay. And you just do what she tells you to do? I will not deny her nothing. Okay. Has she ever asked you to do anything else? No. Never? No. Okay. No, I'm not here. No. What do you mean by that? No, I mean, not in this life. Okay. What do you do for work? Oh, uh, right now I do security. I can't remember the company name. Southwest? Okay. Top Highway 6. Okay. Okay. So you do security on the that for Highway Six out of Los Angeles. How long have you been there? Uh, about one year now. Okay. What did you do before that? I was the general manager of the Days Inn in Los Angeles. Okay. <laughs> you grew up in Los Angeles? No. I grew up in Iowa. Okay. Where in Iowa? Des Moines. Okay. I was born in Fremont, California. Okay. 
Born in Fremont went to Des Moines and then what's your way here? Is that the Well born in Fremont, moved to Iowa, joined the Navy, and then what did you do in the Navy? Engineering. Oh, cool. Yeah. How long were you in the Navy for? Four years. Four years? Very station. Two long. Guam. Nice. The one in one of us, the no, one in just leash, so you could yeah. sign. That's nice. <laughs> just decided not to make a career out of it. Did one enlistment and get out? Yeah, I didn't want to. I saw. What was it? You want to see this? Like 20 years? Not everyone's cup of tea. Sorry, I'm just writing down a few things so we talk. That's all right. That's all right. That's I don't forget. All right, so just to make sure, just to jump back to what we were doing. So you, you got on the plane, go to Toronto to meet your wife, Lil, first name, Lil's last name, unknown. Mm -hmm. Unknown phone number. <coughs> you have an address for her in your phone. Yeah. How did she give you that address? Oh, I found it. Found it online on YouTube. She had posted a uh, winter business site. Okay. So you found her address. Did you, did you call her before you were coming out? What did she do? She plans. Like, what kind of planning? All the planning. What does that mean? Like, she is your mother. And I am all father. What does that mean? That means the father of all. I still have, don't, I'm not following. Everything? Like God? Mm. In your term, yeah, I guess. Like, but not really. Sorry. And there's a website with her information? It was on YouTube. Oh, on YouTube? Yeah. <clears throat> so, Any idea why she would ask you to open the door? Yes. Uh, she wanted me to prove that I have faith in her. Okay. Mm -hmm. She said that to you, or are you just making that assumption? Uh, that's what I know. Okay. Yes, has she asked you to make previous or similar things previously, or is this the first time she'd ever asked you to help out? Well, first in this time. In previous times, has she asked you to do things? Oh, yeah, but well, I don't think you guys have enough paper for that. Okay. Got a paper. And what, what would any of them been similar to something you did now? Uh, a little stranger and all over the place, but I mean, it's not worth recounting because, okay, I, I guess what I'm getting at, to be frank, is where they were the criminal acts, right? Because what you did today was perhaps to prove your you're, you had faith in her, right? But mm -hmm. obviously there's a lot of passengers on that plane yes. that weren't, weren't here and Lil talked to them mm -hmm. and obviously you endangered their lives. So that's why we ask, is there, is there other things she's asked you to do that you've done? I understand. I have, there's nothing else. Oh, I haven't done anything else. Oh, okay. right. And just, again, we're, we ask these questions mm -hmm. and there's, there's no offense meant by this. I don't know. Are you, sorry, I was, I was pressing for my next questions, right? Are you, are you taking medications? Uh, no, I haven't taken an ibuprofen in some time. Any okay. other medications? No. Have okay. you seen a doctor, medical professionals, or anything? No. Okay. okay, have you ever? For any, any mental health issues, any physical issues that, that you think would be relevant for us to know about right now? I had migraines when I was a kid. Okay. Do you still have those? No. Okay. Okay. I don't have any other questions to you. Is there anything else you think you need to tell us? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been arrested before? Oh, uh, I was detained once for trying to get a drunk guy out of a vehicle. I, I was knocking out the window when I was at Pax Gate 2 and the cop came up and pulled me in the car. He might not record it, I don't know. So you were knocking on, was it your friend's window you were knocking on? It was my neighbor in Iowa. It was a long, big wine job, maybe. Okay, but were you arrested in the process? Like, no, no, no. Okay, just detained in the back of his car until he resolved it? Yeah. Okay. So after you tried to open the door? Oh, it was locked. I was just knocking on the window. I was asking him to stop talking the horn. On the plane? When you were trying to open the door? No, no, no. The guy in Iowa. All yeah. right, well, circling back, sorry, circling okay. back to the plane just now. After okay. you tried to open the door, what do you remember happening? I remember it all. Uh, they pinned me down and dragged me to the back. Okay. After trying my shoes, 
ankles, okay. wrists. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, Thank you so much. Imagine they'll probably push that hand back in the cuffs for a little waiting, and then yeah. we'll get back in touch. All right. You can actually keep Thank it you. down there. Hey, Justin, are you recovering from any mental illnesses? No. Okay. Sorry, one other question. I think I already asked this question. I just, want to I just want to double check. Have you ever been seen by a mental health professional? Uh, my parents got divorced when I was uh, just in elementary school. I went to see a psychiatrist during that time. Okay, and did they report anything diagnosed, prescribed at that time? I said, oh, that's good. You don't recall. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, man. Thank you. So I, just for paperwork reasons, are you doing okay? Uh, just a little. Can I take my watch off or? Yeah, yeah. We, take, take it off, watch. Oh, okay. And then we'll throw it in your backpack. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, because you're kind of a big dude, I'm gonna put two cuffs, okay? Yes, sir. Just if you move them over, because you're saying your shoulders hurt a little bit. If you move them under, then we're gonna have to put one cuff again, okay? Okay. But if you keep them just behind you. You all right? You all right? Yep. You guys have water? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we can get you. Uh, let me go grab that real quick if you watch him. I'll grab it from yeah. Sarge's office. Here. Okay. And unfortunately, you're going back into one cup, okay? Already? I'll put you on the edge. Let me see here. Uh, switch them around or? Uh, yeah, you're going to have to switch those around. Let's just turn this whole video like this. There we go. Sorry, I'm gonna loosen this one up a little bit, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Just so. Right there. Come on. Do we work on what time you have to move? Yeah, I, I, can, I can grab two more on the way out. We want to just put those in your pocket. Oh, cool. You ready to take them off? Right. Okay. Come on. Come on. Walk through the hallway, take a right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then take a left right here. Good. Second. We're going to be holding open now. Uh, 10, 15 dash 2. Are you through with you? Yeah. Alright, come on. <clears throat> Where are you at? <laughs> I believe it's the second. I believe it's the second. 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 All right, before I put you in, I'm going to pat you down one more time, okay? Yes, sir. Let's put your feet. There you go. Okay, go ahead and have a seat there. Okay. Try to get some air back here for your arm. Thank you. 